Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a BMW with a six cylinder gasoline engine. I'm talking about engine N51, N52 guys, and maybe even N53. And if you're trying to remove guys your intake manifold, we'll show you guys how to do that. Everything from start to finish, how to remove the intake manifold or how to replace it. Now, there are a few very important things guys that you need to do every time you remove the intake manifold. For instance, one of them, almost every time guys put a new gasket intake manifold gasket uh, all the links guys for all the parts and tools that we use we'll share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience so please check them out now before we start on the intake manifold removal guys let me introduce you to the channel every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos specifically on bmws we make close to four five hundred videos guys why this is because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing that free information now if you guys need to buy a new manifold gaskets anything like that tools and parts will be shared in the description of the video below we'll demonstrate on three series but actually it will work on bmw one series three series five series x3 x5 even six and seven series in europe that has that n51 n52 or n53 engine so let's start on it now guys so first thing that we're going to do guys okay we're going to go ahead and remove the cabin air filter it's supposed to have eight screws but our uh, excuse me four screws our has only two okay you have one screw here with eight millimeter socket one here but we have only one one on the other side and one more there in our case somebody didn't install two of them so we have only two out of four so okay we're ready to almost pull the cabin air filter out sometimes you will have uh, recently we clean ours you have leaves and dust here so you need to clean it guys we got that thing out okay so let's see what else we need to do now so we're going to start on the bottom piece now okay these rubber things pull them to the side okay like that okay we have one right there as well it should come loose that way okay let's see what else we have here holding okay we have a few clips here okay one clip right there okay perfect i got it out now one on the back okay and that cover guys comes out this cover okay here you have more um, on one side i think you had the, the computers the other one it was the fuses so this one is out now okay let's see what else we have on this side okay we have one more on this side here guys so right there the same thing that rubber thing we pull it out we have one more on this side that we'll need to remove for later so not to forget it one clip here one on the back okay this one got stuck again okay the other one side is the computers this side guys is where your uh, uh brake fluid is located okay and this is guys okay where the uh, pump okay this is the pump for the uh, abs pump and the traction control module is located right here guys so now we're going to have uh, a few a few bolts that we need to remove this one i think it's a 10 millimeter socket let's check it out okay first first bolt is right here okay oh eight oh it's eight i thought it was a 10 but it's an eight actually so this is the ball that we'll need to remove it's holding that uh, piece right there later we'll need to disconnect the wire so make sure you stay stay with us until the end and we're going to explain all that guys so you don't cause any damage it's a very good idea to watch the video until the end because you can avoid mistakes that we make and that can cost you guys quite a bit of money because uh, sometimes it does happen guys to screw something up so be careful now this one is ready now we need to disconnect our sensor here this is for the uh, air quality temperature sensor guys so right here we're going to press in pull it out okay and get the wire out okay perfect just like that now let's see okay we need to disconnect okay right here we have the wires for the engine the wiring harness pull that one out okay now let's see if we can pull that whole piece out of there guys okay hopefully we can okay perfect and you can see that piece 
came out with no problem. So now guys okay this is uh, uh, this is the reservoir for the power steering we have one and uh, one of the bolts is broken so we have only one that holding it but on yours you slightly okay. you will have two nuts that you need to remove in our case uh, we have just one now uh, careful not to flip it too much upside down because you're going to leak power steering fluid out and you don't want that to happen you have a double hose okay so we'll kind of like bring it a little bit to the side okay let's see how much room we're going to get again so we can get to these hoses but first let's put it this way so we can get that hose loose on this side otherwise we will not be able to uh, gain much uh, uh, much room so right here now so now guys okay we're ready uh, to go ahead and remove okay you can see with a screwdriver get that hose clamp loose there and uh, by removing that uh, by getting that hose clamp loose you will be able to uh, actually pull the hose out of the air filter box okay and looks like this is a seven six six millimeter hose that we're working on uh, now we got this one loose okay let me see if we have some slack here okay still holding it looks like it okay it's loose but it's just a little bit tight guys so we'll see if we can remove that without removing the air filter box so now we are going to flip the power steering fluid reservoir on this side and we're going to remove the first intake boot and then the second one is after that Okay, getting it loose now. Okay, let's see if we just have to remove the whole piece all at once. Okay, not just uh, this one. We might need to uh, just go ahead and remove the whole, okay, the whole assembly in, in our case. We'll need to uh, go ahead and get a small ratchet, I think, to actually get that hose clamp loose on this side no it's going by hand now this is the one that actually mounts towards the throttle body there okay let's see if it's going to come out yep it did now we're going to pull that hose from the air filter box careful if it's not broken don't break it but that's a weak spot sometimes okay we will have to actually okay we'll have to actually push it a little bit with a screwdriver maybe okay right here on the side there is two places where we can push on it okay it's about to come out guys perfect and that intake boot now okay will come out we just dropped one of our uh, one of our hose clamps you don't want that to happen okay it's all the way down there but we found it perfect so this is ready guys now so once the intake boot is out of the way guys we can get to the throttle body here we need to remove that intake boot because uh, we will have guys okay two hidden bolts on the bottom all together we have four bolts uh, and there with 10 millimeter socket extremely careful guys not to drop anything past the intake body in your intake manifold because guys if you don't know about it it will be sucked by the engine and as a result guys you can say bye bye to your engine so first bolt is out pretty long bolt you can see now uh, this is on the bottom we have one more on the bottom as well we are a little bit lazy today using the impact here to save us some time and even make the video a little bit shorter for you guys so we don't waste our time okay second bolt out now we have two more okay that they need to come out on top but before we do that let me disconnect the wire okay 
uh, because otherwise things may be a little bit harder to hold this wire okay right here press in okay and disconnect so later we can just go ahead and pull it out because if it's moving you have to hold the throttle body with one hand trying to disconnect the wire with the other the cable and uh, this could be guys okay this could be not so easy to do okay second one here and now one more bolt on this side perfect okay this is the fourth bolt that we have this is the throttle body now okay right here you can see now at that point guys okay i think all we have to do grab it it's recommended to replace the gasket on the intake manifold every time you remove the throttle body uh, so it can seal everything really good this is the throttle body this is the intake manifold this will be the time guys to actually go ahead okay and cover it to make sure guys that nothing drops inside don't forget to remove whatever you're using to cover it because otherwise guys you can damage your engine this is the throttle body we we'll have a video guys that explains how to clean it and make that thing look like brand new again and perform good as well uh, we we'll have the video coming on the channel check it out guys so next up guys we'll go uh, we'll go ahead and remove the engine cover it has four rubber bushing that it attaches to the uh, valve cover so just grab it and pull it guys gently okay ours it's not so secure because we removed it already earlier but uh, we'll show you guys okay what you need to do you have to be extremely careful not to break your coolant line where it attaches you have four bushings one two three four and they attach in this okay mounts right there so that's where it is guys now what we need to do next step we need to go ahead and disconnect okay the oxygen oxygen sensor cables guys this is for your o2 sensor so uh, we'll go ahead okay press here pull it out i'll pull that sensor out as well later we are going to reconnect all that uh, we're going to feed the cable out okay perfect just like that disconnect this one now okay and we can get these two cables guys okay they need to come loose okay this oxygen sensor cable will stay there and uh, they will actually okay come down guys okay you can feed them down they will come out of there and you can pull them up later uh, we can leave them like that for now it's not in the way this is the oil pressure sensor switch press in disconnect that wire as well so we can get a little bit more room to remove a few bolts here as well guys now let's see okay let's see what else we have here we have one bracket that's holding the fuel line this is the fuel line going to the fuel injectors we do not need to remove the fuel injectors but we need to get that fuel line loose so we can guys actually okay we can move it a little bit we'll see if we need to disconnect it if you do guys you have to disconnect your car battery all that stuff so you don't catch your car on fire because bmws even if you open the driver's door sometimes if they detect they don't have enough pressure you may need to guys disconnect the battery because the fuel pump will activate and it will spray fuel which could be catastrophic guys you can catch on fire your car can catch on fire you can burn your building so you have to be extremely extremely careful when you work on your vehicle guys so now guys we need to get a reverse torque also known as female torque socket guys okay let's see which one it is okay it's this one right here and uh, you can see <laughs> this one is even loose it wasn't tightened so that's uh, e14 socket guys we'll have the link in the description of the video below on this side is super easy just go ahead take it off now one thing guys we actually okay have the top engine taken apart and that cow piece here removed but you don't have to do any of that all you have to do remove that bolt later in the middle where the windshield wiper is the passenger side windshield wiper there is one cover that you need to open open that cover and uh, you can okay go ahead okay and get that bolt loose this is a bigger socket guys next size okay next size bigger so if you're just removing the brace support you don't need to take anything else apart but we will be doing quite a bit of work today so that's why we started okay taking things out so it's actually a little bit so a little bit bigger socket we'll get the next size and we'll continue
So the next size, okay, we skip these sizes, actually it's e E18, sock it guys, so we'll go ahead. Okay, get it loose, just get it loose, you don't need to remove the whole bolt. Okay, once you get it loose guys, enough, you'll be able Okay, to slide that thing out, check it out, because right here, okay, it's cut on the other side, so you can just uh, go ahead, you can see, and uh, remove it like that, guys, not very complicated, uh, and that brace support is out of the way, if you need to remove the other one for something, it's the same way. So, now we need to disconnect a few cables, this is the MAP sensor, manifold, absolute pressure sensor cable, okay, right there, squish, pull it out, okay, perfect. This one is out. Now, uh, we need to disconnect uh, one more cable. Okay, there is a clamp right there. Perfect, got this one loose. Now we have one more, uh, one more holder. Okay, right here on this side, rubber holder. So we need to lift that one up. Okay, perfect. And all that moves to the back, guys. You can see, uh, we can actually even tie it with something so it's out of the way a little bit. So, we need to disconnect the PCV holes now from the cylinder head right here guys what I did I pried it out there is uh, uh, once we get it out I'll explain how because it's a little bit hard to see let's get the new hole so I can show you okay hope we got the old one out too so right here you need to squish on each side okay and when you squish it's going to spread you have two clips one here one there and it's going to release guys but it's not as easy as I make it sound okay it's going to take you a little bit of time we got that one out, so we'll see what we need to do next now. So now the purge valve guys is uh, located right here, you squish right here again and you pull that one out. Okay, uh, you need to slide that mount with the cables out, you have two teeth that you need to jump. I just pried it with a double screwdriver, screwdriver on each side, pry that plastic up and pull it out. Now this is guys the purge valve, it has one more hose that we pretty disconnected on the bottom uh, it's the same design like the top one and there is one wire that you need to disconnect so I'll show you okay where the wire is in a second wire is super simple design okay it's on on the back side right there and that wire is the same way as uh, the one that we removed here guys remember the one okay that you press the metal piece okay let me focus quick press the metal piece and pull out that's how the other one is so uh, this one is out now we have uh, one double cable right here on the bottom this is guys for the uh, knock sensors so we need to squish that one in with the small small pliers I think will do the trick and you need to get it down that way okay it will stay there I think that will be the easiest uh, way the other way will be you have two screws on that mount one here one on the other side and you can remove those if you want but uh, one of them is really hard to get to guys so this one with a small screwdriver or uh, a small pliers guys which is we're going to squish down and pull it uh, push it down so we can release both cables down I think they went down yep let me see now okay they're loose perfect so they're out of the hole great now let's see what else we need to do you will have two wires here, sometimes those are dead wires, sometimes, okay, uh, there, uh, they will have, I think, secondary air pump, maybe here, I don't remember what it was, uh, some models have it, some models don't, but just disconnect these wires, I think on the 528, 328, they have it more than the 25s, so this one is out, and let's see what else we need to do here. So 11 millimeter socket and we're going to start removing okay a few bolts nuts things like that here okay one nut is out then uh, we'll have one more guys okay over here you can see we'll remove that one as well uh, we'll just go in order remove all the nuts you have some bolts in the corners I think on each corner you have a bolt and the rest of it is nuts Okay, perfect. Every time you remove the intake manifold, it's uh, recommended to install a new gasket, guys. Intake manifold gasket, because otherwise you can develop a leak. Third one. Okay, we're just gently removing them so we don't lose them. 
Now, right here we have a bolt. So that bolt looks like it's pretty tight. So we have four bolts and three nuts. I don't know whoever thought about that design, how they came up with that idea. If originally it was that way or... Okay, and one towards the back side there. And we have one bolt on this in this corner here. So four bolts we pre-loosened and three nuts that we removed so far. Now that's a super popular engine guys, that N52, N53 engines there. Uh, really good engines. They have some problems with the valve lifter noise. Um, and we have experienced that one as well. We have a procedure on the channel. We'll be uploading the video soon how to bleed uh, the oil system so you can get rid of that valve lifter noise, guys. There is a special procedure that even BMW follows when you take it to the shop so they can deliver that smooth running engine. In some cases, you may need to remove valve lifters, replace them. I think we'll be making videos soon about that as well because many of you ask us how to do that. So we'll see. Okay, removing that bolt on this side now. And after that, we just have uh, one more bolt over here. And we will see if we need to disconnect the fuel line, if anything else. Super important, once you guys knock that uh, intake loose, don't drop anything in the valves because that could be catastrophic and you may end up needing serious repairs or even new engines. So uh, you have to be extremely, extremely guys careful that way. So let's see what else we need to do now. So that cover, you just grab it and pull it out if you need to guys. Three, I think, three, two or three bushings it has. We'll just get it out so it doesn't slip or something. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, five bushings that it has. A few of ours are missing, that says BMW. So we get that thing out. Now we're going to shake it a little bit. Okay, and let's see if it's going to come out, guys. If it's going to start coming out or if we're hitting somewhere. That's one clean engine, guys. I cannot believe it at 137,000 miles, super clean. Love that engine. So we'll see what else we have here holding. Next guys, we'll have to disconnect the fuel line. Now, before we disconnect the fuel line, you have to disconnect your car battery. There is a specific order in which way you correctly disconnect car battery. And we'll have the uh, video on the channel, guys. Check it out how to properly, uh, the correct way to disconnect and reconnect car battery. We uh, went ahead, we disconnected ours. Now, every time you remove fuel line, you spray some fuel. Always use eye protection, gloves, have fire extinguisher, do not have any open flames, sparks, anything like that. There is always a possibility to catch on fire. So guys, consider this entertaining video and not a how-to video because I don't want to be responsible for catching yourself on fire or your vehicle on fire. But let me show you guys how you do that. We'll get a rack, okay, we'll get the let me let me position the camera. You grab that line, push it, push it towards the fuel rail. Now that blue device, push it in and start pulling it out. It's going to leak some fuel out, guys. Always try to cover it with the quad so it doesn't uh, spray in you so much. And I'll go ahead, okay, and put it on the side. Perfect. Now we should be able to free some space here. Let's check it out now because definitely that fuel line was was in the way guys let's see where we can position it so it cannot be in the way now if we pull it up a little bit i think we should gain some room and we might start coming out soon guys okay so let's see if we still have something holding somewhere okay we're hitting a little bit here looks like on the alternator a little bit on this side and on the other side we're hitting on the ac lines so you push it a little bit this way, it comes out of the alternator. Now I need to disconnect here, guys. We have one wire, okay? And I need to uh, I need to get somebody to come hold the camera quick, okay? So I can disconnect that one with a small flathead screwdriver. So let me show you right here. Gently, not to break it. You have to pry that piece up, disconnect that wire. Later you need to get that wire there. I'm going to feed the oxygen sensor wires and Careful, your vacuum line is here. Okay, let's see if we have anything else. 
holding I think we don't we're just hitting here a little bit from what I can see up oh, one one wire up oh, that's loose that's loose guys so let's see if we have anything else holding here we have one wire okay connected on the side that we need to get loose with the clip removal tool on the other side it just attaches to the intake manifold and we'll be ready to remove it Oh guys, I used the Torx 25 star looking bit, okay, like this one here on a ratchet and there was two screws that hold the, I think one of the wires is for actually uh, the heating element on the PCV hose and I removed two screws guys and that's the mount for the wires we'll show you in a second okay, that's what the screws looks like, okay, second one right here and I think we'll be able to remove it now and gently, we'll still have to lift up a little bit and disconnect our PCV hose okay our PCV hose okay right here so okay let me see okay that's the one I was talking about everything is right here so let me just go ahead and take a picture so I don't confuse those later when I install them so now guys the other the bottom PCV hose we disconnected it I couldn't show you how to uh, I didn't show you how to do it but it connects right here it's uh, you just get your hand on the back and disconnect it came loose now uh, I'll get somebody to come hold the camera quick so I can disconnect two wires guys okay the two wires I'm talking about right there with a small screwdriver I'm going to just go ahead and disconnect this these guys here one and then we have a second one here okay and now let's check it out okay if we have everything loose for that device to come out or we still have something else guys it's a little bit complicated and we got the whole intake out of the way okay you can see just like that so cover guys your intake uh, valves here because if you drop something that that's it guys that's catastrophic so uh, this is that hose that we disconnected you squish on each side and it comes out this is the bottom the bottom hose right there uh, so you have a bottom top this one was next to the starter I think guys somebody actually messed with that one I think it may need to come actually on the top of the wire I'm not sure we'll, we'll do some diagnostics and we'll see but uh, you can see now that intake is out of the way so that's how you guys remove the intake manifold let us show you the gasket guys okay if you need to remove the gasket okay uh, it will be right here now that will be the time to put a new gasket guys every time you remove it you're required to put a new gasket otherwise you can develop a leak here but uh, that's how you guys remove the intake manifold uh, not too complicated guys but it does take some time and some knowledge hopefully the video was helpful uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to let us know that's how you guys get ideas about videos we have a video how to rebuild the pcv system the positive crankcase ventilation system this is a super weak spot on uh, most bmws and people not maintaining them uh, just a quick uh, quick uh, show here guys check it out this is your knock sensor on bank one bank two knock sensor towards the back right there your vacuum pump is hidden all the way towards the back you may be looking where it is and this is your engine starter so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel for more help and see you guys next time